For sure. Well, here we are with our first guest who is starring in the Hallmark Channel original movie, A Feeling of Home, and we are so excited that he's here today in our home. Please welcome Robbie Benson, everybody. Yeah, welcome, welcome, thanks for Robbie. being here, Robbie. Thanks for being here, my friend. This is such a cool character. You, you get to play a cattle rancher. His name's Wes. Uh, obviously, he's he's trying to help his daughter kind of find her way in life with the story. But tell us how your character, how Wes, kind of fits into the overall story. Well, um, his daughter, played beautifully by Jonna Walsh, uh, is a web series person who's selling her own authentic East Coast brand. She comes back to help her dad, who messes up his shoulder. Um, and uh, it's my job to try to, in, at least this is the way I think of it, it's my <laughs> job to put her together with the ranch manager who she used to go out with, I played see. again beautifully by Nathan Parsons. So cattle rancher slash matchmaker. Right. In my mind, yes. <laughs> exactly. Trying to exactly. help my daughter. Good yeah. stuff. Well, we have a clip where Wes and his daughter are beginning to reconnect because she's been away for a little while. Right. Let's take a look. Okay. So, uh, how's your mama doing these days? Oh, she's off to a wedding in London. London. <laughs> what a crazy pair we made. You know, they don't build towns big enough for her. <laughs> small enough for me. It's like you, I guess. You're definitely your mama's daughter. I'm your daughter too, Dad. I miss you. Yes. I've just been so busy with my new web series. You got your own life. I get that. Yeah. Have you seen my show? I, I look in on it. I saw one. It was entirely on blenders. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. You don't do anything halfway. Aww. <laughs> Very sweet. You said that when you got this script that it immediately resonated with you as a father yourself. How so? Well, you know, the one thing, uh, you, you grow up and, and you have children and it's, you know, all I ever wanted to do is be a great husband and a great father and and you realize as, as your children are getting older that sometimes no matter how good your intentions are, sometimes the communications don't work as well as they sure. should. Sure, yeah. And, I think uh, every parent can yeah, understand absolutely that. absolutely can relate to that right. on some level, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Absolutely. And, and I, have a, I have amazing children. Zephyr Benson is a brilliant young man, and Lyric is uh, my daughter who is just absolutely phenomenal. And, Great names, uh, by the way. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, they're amazing people. I, but I think when I read this script, it was so beautifully written. Um, for some reason, I just I felt like, oh, I, I know this feeling. Right. I'm saying all the right things, but I'm not saying it to her the right way. And so, you know, I, I just really wanted to be a part of it. Communication can be hard as right. a parent sometimes. Oh, it's goodness, so hard, but kidding. you related to the story, obviously, as, as a parent, like you just described, but also in some ways uh, that you and your character went through similar things together. One of those things, the breaking <laughs> of the arm. Right. Tell us how this Ouch. all came about and how you did it and how he did it and the changes you made to the script, by the way. Yeah, um, well, it was, so in the character of Wes, he falls off a horse. Yeah. Um, and breaks his shoulder. I lived on a farm uh, in uh, Boone, North Carolina. So beautiful. Yeah, and I loved my Kubota tractor. <laughs> Big old tractor, <laughs> bigger than this. I mean, you couldn't fit it in here. And I was going down this hill, which is about 40 degrees downward, and, um, and the grass was wet and started to skid, oh. and I had the bush hog on the back and went into a gopher hole, and oh my goodness. the tractor flipped With two a and a half times. With a huge tractor. Yeah, two and a half times it flipped, and, um, and I didn't want to scare anyone, so I took myself to the hospital, <laughs> even went up to the barn and tried to put my shoulder back in place. Oh, no. And uh, didn't work. Anyway, they finally fixed it. And, That's not good. But I asked them in the script, is it possible to have my left shoulder in a sling. Because method. in the script, it was the right it was the right arm or the right shoulder, right? right? So, because right. you could relate to kind of uh, being sensitive to that side exactly. of it. Exactly. I mean, cool. why not? 
<laughs> well, you know, you did manage to have some better luck with that tractor on impressing your wife. Tell us about this amazing photo that we're about to look at. Oh, okay. I, well, that's called that, tractor that, art. That is so cool. Thanks. So what I would amazing. do is, that's about three and a half, four acres, what you're looking at. And we lived way up on top of the hill. That's the hill I went down and flipped the tractor. But Oof. what I asked my wife to do was to write her name out. And so she wrote Carla with a K, and she has very distinctive handwriting. And I went down with the Kubota tractor, and I first I went and made her a heart, and then I came out of the pasture, and I wrote her name. And um, you just eyeballed it? A absolutely. That's yeah. impressive. Well, yeah, ma maybe not the first or second time, but that one worked <laughs> out well. <laughs> well, well before your tractor art, you impressed your beautiful wife of so many years now way back in the day on Broadway when the two of you starred in Pirates of Penzance. Yes. And you basically fell in love every single night of the week. Oh. Eight shows a week, we got married downstage. And um, eight shows a week, all I kept thinking was, I want her to be my wife forever, oh. ever. And so I begged her for about a year, and she finally said yes. And we've been <laughs> married 37 years. Congratulations. <laughs> That's a beautiful story. Oh my well goodness. done, man. Well Thank done. You. Someone else who needs a, a little spotlight time, I think, is your dog Lola, too. Yes. She deserves her time in the spotlight, especially because of the fact that she's a better surfer than I am. Which yeah, is me a, too. She's you know what I mean? Well, I think. Can we, your dog actually knows how to surf. Well, that's Asher. Asher Ferguson, who is my uh, daughter Lyric's husband, and he's a great surfer. And our dog Lola, who's a golden doodle, loves the water, and used to go out with him and, and surf like that. It, she it, just jumped on the surfboard Yeah, she, he, she'd swim out to him, she'd get on the surfboard. I mean, amazing dog, amazing. Oh, that's yeah. wild. Yeah, that's one of amazing. my best friends. She, she knows, Aww. if you're not feeling well, she knows, and she well, just comes know. over and they lays next to me. We celebrate our, our pets each and yeah, every day here, every so day. thank yeah. you for sharing that, and congratulations on the movie. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for Robbie, being here, Robbie. Robbie. Very cool. You. Be sure to watch Robbie in the Hallmark Channel original movie, A Feeling of Home, this Saturday, May 11th at 9 p.m. 8 central, and you can also keep up with Robbie on his website as well, everybody.